Oh my God, look at that. No, oh, the spaghetti, it's so gorgeous. The sauce just clings to it. Mm. Your life will absolutely be changed after this. Open up your wallet to the Lord. The prosperity gospel has returned, Noah, and he will fill it up thy cup. The way the spaghetti filleth up my soul. That's a good old cold open, you know? It doesn't mean anything. You said words. Today on Don't Panic Pantry, we are making spaghetti and meatballs. Really, we're making meatballs and we're gonna also make spaghetti. The spaghetti's incidental. One of the things people talked to me a lot about um, when I was on my book tour for my book was asking questions about how to cook for less people. Sometimes by yourself, sometimes for two. And so one of my favorite things to do is freeze things. So we're gonna make a big batch of meatballs from two pounds of meat, but we're gonna then freeze off whatever we're not cooking right now and uh, it'll kind of pause it in its process and then you can reheat it in sauce later and you got balls for days. <sighs> got a Ben laugh on that one. It's really hard not to make ball jokes when you cook ball things. So one other thing I'm gonna do for this episode today is because we're gonna finish them in tomato sauce is I'm gonna use a food processor method for some of our ingredients and we're gonna take half of it and put it into our sauce and half into our meatballs. The thing with meatballs is there's a lot of personal preference involved. Some people like uh, those kind of more gelatiny meatballs that are like squishy and juicy and bouncy. Those I'm not as crazy about, but it does keep them moist. Other people like me tend to like a crumblier meatball, but I wanna kind of find this fun little middle ground with it. So let's get cracking. And we're just gonna take some panko breadcrumbs, you could use regular too, um, and we're just gonna add a little bit of milk to it to kind of hydrate them and get them a little fluffed up. Just a little splash will do you. So I'm doing a 50-50 beef and pork. You could go all one, you could uh, get rid of it and just put lentils in it or something. But first, let's make our uh, food processor mix. So we're gonna take a double batch of what I would ordinarily do for two uh, pounds of meatballs, because we're gonna put half of it in the sauce to cook it off. First, let's take our Parmesan cheese. I'm just gonna kind of give it a little slice. If you were grating this, you would do like a half a cup, something like that. Or just fucking put it all in. There you go. And then we're gonna take six cloves of garlic and chuck those right in. I'm also gonna take some peppercorns because I could just sit here grating it or you could do it this way and take like a little pinch of peppercorns like this and throw them right in. We're looking for a really, really, really fine texture. I want this to be wet and juicy and hydrating and uh, combining with everything in the meatball. So we're just gonna give this guy a nice blitz. Some of the peppercorns are not totally broken up yet and hopefully that's not gonna be a mistake later. About a teaspoon of garlic powder and like a little pinch of chili flakes. We're gonna take basically just like this whole bunch of parsley and put that right in. And then we'll take some fresh basil, probably about a half cup of loosely packed basil leaves right in there as well. Take this onion right here, basically really roughly chop this guy because we're gonna blend him. And let's take a little pinch of oregano. We can go pretty heavy on this. Probably like a full tablespoon or so. We go back into the old blitzer, the wolf blitzer. Onions have a lot of liquid in them, which is good in this case, and I want them to be all nice and smoothed up. Meanwhile, we're gonna get our pot, get over a nice little medium heat. So we're gonna take some olive oil and just drizzle it in right here in the bottom of the pot. Welcome back to mystery drain quantity. Like why would it sometimes work and sometimes not? It feels real arbitrary. Now we're just gonna eyeball about half of this. It's not hot enough yet. So now this is frying up. This is our garlic and onions and spices to make a nice little base for our sauce. I'll tell you what it doesn't smell is bad. You like that one, Ben? Should we keep that? Should that be a new slogan for the show? Yeah, you know what it doesn't smell is bad. We can now start to season it for the uh, meatball mix. So now we can take a little pinch of salt. Then we're gonna take two eggs and crack these right in. And we're gonna blitz it again. I can hear a couple of the peppercorns not breaking down. So yeah, next time, just uh, grind them in like pepper. So now 
we can take this guy and pour him in. And you hand squeegee the inside just to make sure you get meat all over the inside of your food processor. We take our mushy cereal, and dump that straight in as well. And now we're just going to combine this all together. Just like anything else, there's a lot of variation in many of the ingredients you will use when you cook. And so just adjust it based off of what it feels like. If it feels too wet, add more breadcrumb. If it feels too dry, you can add a little milk to it um, or more meat <laughs> or whatever. This actually feels pretty darn good though, to be honest. And now I am gonna take one little small amount right now and get a little salt taster. And again, we're not trying to do anything other than just get this just quickly cooked through so I can taste it for salt. All right. See, we got some browning going on down here, but that's a-okay. We're gonna deglaze right now, a little splash of white wine. You might be saying, Noah, white wine in spaghetti and meatballs? The reason is meatballs are very fatty and I like acidity to balance fat. So white wine in the sauce, same reason I put like white wine in a lot of like meat sauces, that white wine is gonna get you a lot of nice uh, counterbalance to your flavor. Taste our little guy here. Guess what I'm gonna do, Ben? Add salt. That is correct. I'm gonna mix this guy up again. Pour off our juice straight in here to give us room to blend it. And then one more over here. Just for a little extra flavor blast, let's take a little bit of meat and throw it right in here with this guy, just to give a little extra flavor to our sauce. Let's just blend up our tomatoes real quick. The most horrendous sound. It's not great. We'll bring that down to a simmer, drop it down to low, cover it, let it simmer away until the meatballs are ready. One thing I want to do is add a little bit of olive oil to this mix as well. So a little drizzle. We're going to take a little more of this olive oil, put it right on the pan here like this, and it gives you the bonus content of having oil on your hands, which is convenient for shaping a meatball. We can take our balls of meat and really just make them whatever size you want. And we're just looking to get a little bit of browning on the outside of these. We're going to finish these in the sauce. That guy got a little big. Uh, and also, uh, heads up, you should have preheated your oven to as high as it can go. We are at 500 degrees. And we're just going to put these bad boys right in the oven. Did it. Did it. We just want these to have a little bit of color and to just set. But they can still be totally raw on the inside because we are going to finish them in the sauce or we're going to freeze them and then finish them in sauce after they've been defrosted. I live down here now. To do the sauce trick. It's a nice little sauce. All right, I'm calling these done. Y'all ready for this? So now we're gonna take eight balls of meat, put them right on in there, and let this simmer for like 20 to 30 minutes. People, I think, sometimes think that you can just cook meatballs forever and they'll stay juicy and they'll make the sauce delicious, but they will start to get very dried out. Oh, I was gonna pour this fat in. Welcome back to Why Waste It? Puro sabor. I think that's gonna be tasty. We're gonna do one little tester here. So this should be a tenderoni. And this way, with the blended sauce, you can give it a real drag job. Yeah. It's like super herby and bright and tender and fatty, and it's just what you want out of a meatball. It's a tasty meatball. Welcoming my friend Josh to the show. Josh, you may might know as a mythical chef Josh from the... Yeah. Uh, the Mythical Kitchen Network? Yeah, the Mythical Cinematic Universe. Wait, what's this episode? I showed up late. What's going on? You're just making spaghetti and meatballs? We're making spaghetti and meatballs. I love that, That's it. These are actually made entirely of Skittles, which uh, <laughs> I thought was only fair. This looks lovely, by the way. The meatballs are incredibly, they look tender to the touch. So yeah, one of the things, I bet you guys have done, like you've myth-busted meatballs and found out what matters and what Wait, doesn't. Wait, we never have. We should though. We're gonna do that next. Cause like some people one. do the gelatin thing, 
But I gelatin don't, thing? Yeah, they put gelatin in meatballs. Weird. To make it kind of stay juicy oh. and bouncy. But I kind of like more crumbly. Oh. I don't like to be able to slice a meatball and have it keep its shape. Oh, this is really crumbly. No, I that's a meatball that I really love is the one that's been like with the very deft hands. You know what I mean? I undersalted <laughs> him slightly. He told me he undersalted him. <laughs> that's a great freaking meatball, man. I mean, that's a great meatball. Are you a weird at twirling spaghetti? Am I? Well, you, I, okay. Do you need more sauce? This looks like it's not enough sauce. What? It's, it's not a good amount of sauce. It's seasonal. He's such a Jewish grandma in here. Like, Booby, you're not eating. There's not enough sauce in the pasta. Why do you hate me? Is this why you never call me? Because I under sauce your pasta? Well, there's two options. Either you finish it all and you didn't get enough, mm. or you don't finish it and it wasn't good. I only eat spaghetti with chopsticks. Do you have chopsticks? Oh, yeah, I Can forgot. I? So when you go to an Italian go. restaurant, do you bring chopsticks with you? <laughs> no, I'm not a monster. This is a great plate of pasta, man. I'm, I'm having a time in my life. I'm so glad. I'm glad I didn't eat lunch before I came here. I made a really bad stew. Uh, now I'm sweaty. <laughs> what up, YouTube fam? Smash that like button, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications. Uh, Noah's Venmo. What's your Venmo? Uh, it's, uh, uh, oh, I had one. Lost it. My improv is really good. <laughs>